Starting with the largest, put these four sports in order by the number of players in a team. Association Football Polo Rugby League Netball. Very anxious looking faces, and <laughs> that's out of the audience. The right order then should be starting with the largest first, four sports. Rugby league first, 13 in rugby league, not 15. 11 in football, uh, seven in netball, and then just four, not included the horses, obviously, in polo. That's the right order. Let's see who got it right, but most important, let's see who got it right in the fastest time. These two got it right. Who was fastest? Eddie Holland in 7.98. <laughs> Tom Burgess Hill in West Sussex. He's an assistant club steward, and his brother Anthony is up there in the audience while his wife Amanda is watching at home with their son Daniel. Now, if he won a million pounds tonight, he says he'd buy a little pub in the West Country and call it Millionaire's Row. Is that right? That's your that's your dream. Yep, I've always wanted them. my own place. So this is that the family. Take care. Yeah, the wife's a chef, so well, that'd be handy. Put her in the kitchen, and uh, I look out after front. What about Anthony, your brother? Would he be um, welcome? You know, if he was passing the West Country? Oh, every now and then. Would he? Yeah. What about, you know, if I was you know, anywhere near? It's a bit of a shortcut oh. for me, really. Pop in, pop in, as long as you buy me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a million quid, you've got your own pub and I still have to pay? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> it's going to be a long night for you, Eddie. <laughs> as always, Eddie's got uh, three new lifelines. He's got 50-50, he's got phone a friend and ask the audience. OK, are you ready for this? Yes. OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> What was Noah's famous vessel? Not too tricky, I would have thought, for 100 quid. Was it a raft? Was it a catamaran? Was it an ark? Or was it a battleship? I'll go for sea, Chris, an ark. Sea and ark is a wise choice. You've got 100 pounds for <laughs> OK. Have a look at this for 200 pounds. You could take 100 pounds and go, but have a look at the question. Which sport involves a fine leg and an extra cover? Polo. Rugby union. Cricket or baseball for £200? I'll go for C again. Cricket. C cricket's the right answer. Fine leg, extra cover. <laughs> OK, you've got £200. Have a look at this for £300. You've still got your lifelines. Use them if you need them. They're only easy if you know the answer. Henry Ford is quoted as saying that people could have a Model T in any colour as long as the colour was black, blue, orange, I think I know, but I'm going to ask the audience. Righto. Um, OK, audience, I want to get Eddie up to 300 quid, please. All on your computer keypads, please. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Oh. 85% say uh, black. 1% say orange. <laughs> <laughs> it might be right, Eddie. Seems unlikely. Um, it's your choice. You were saying you had a guess. Is that yep, um, what it you was, thought? It was black. Aye, black. black. OK, it's your final answer. You got £300. Well done. Well done, audience. <laughs> OK, you're OK. You've got one lifeline gone, but you've got two left. You've still got 50 50, and you've still got to phone a friend. Uh, £300 you've got. Have a look at this for £500. Who is the owner of a dog called Gromit? Wallace, Horace, Harris, or Pollock? I'll go for A, Chris. Wallace. Wallace is the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, right. Uh, same with Sheridan. You've got 500 pounds. If you went for this one and got it wrong, you would go home with nothing, but you've still got two lifelines. You've got 50 50, you've got phone a friend. If you go for it and get it right, you would leave here with a guarantee of at least 1,000 uh, pounds. Have a look at it. Tell me if you want to play. Who is the sorcerer's apprentice in Disney's Fantasia? Goofy. Donald Duck. Pluto or Mickey Mouse? You've got two lifelines. You could use either or both of them. Or I'll play for a thousand. Go for D, Chris. Mickey Mouse. You confident? Yes. You know, if you get it wrong, you do go away with nothing. Yep. You happy? Yes. Fun lot? Yes. It's good, you've got a thousand pounds. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, you've got a thousand pounds guaranteed. Um, we're on our way down to the West Country. Uh, you're ten questions away at this point from one million pounds. You've used up one lifeline, but that's kept you in. You've still got two lifelines. You've got a 50 50. You can phone a friend. Have a look at the next question. Whatever happens, you might as well play it for two thousand pounds. Here it comes. If you practice nepotism, which people do you favour? Women, neighbours, the elderly, or your relatives? Again, I've got an idea, but I think I'm going to phone a friend. OK. OK, who are you going to phone? I'm going to phone Martin. Martin? Who's he? He's a teacher. OK, that might be handy. OK. All right, you've got a thousand pounds. You'll have 30 seconds to tell him the four possible answers. When you hear his voice come on, I'll give you exactly 30 seconds. Hello? Martin? Yes. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant from ITV who wants to be a millionaire. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I've got, uh, I've got Eddie here, Eddie Holland. Now, he's got £1,000. He's guaranteed £1,000, but we'd like to try and get him up to £2,000, please. He's stuck on one particular question. The next voice you hear will be Eddie's. You'll only have 30 seconds, but he'll tell you the question and the four possible answers. Three of them are wrong, one's the right answer. All right, Martin. OK, Eddie, your time starts now. Hello, Martin. Hello, Eddie. If you practice nepotism, which people do you favour? A, women. B, neighbours. C, the elderly. Or D, your relatives? Could you repeat those choices again? A, women. B, neighbours. C, the elderly. Or D, your relatives? Yes, it's your relatives. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Well, good luck, Eddie. Sounded very confident, but uh, was that what you thought? Yeah, and yeah, I'll go with Martin. OK, you're saying to me, final answer for £2,000 is your relatives. You go yes. for D. It's good, you got £2,000. What up? Your brother's looking ever so pleased with you. <laughs> OK, you got £2,000, Eddie. Uh, you can take that and go. You've still got a 50 50, though. Have a look at the next question for £4,000. Double your money for 4000 Obviously, you got it wrong. You would drop that to 1000 but you still go home with that. Have a look at it first. Which American president was nicknamed Ike? Kennedy? Truman? Ford? Or Eisenhower? I'll go 50-50, please. OK. Computer, take away two of the wrong ones, please. Just leave Eddie the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I'll go for D, Chris. Eisenhower. Truman or Eisenhower, you going for Eisenhower? Yes. Got no lifelines left. Drop a thousand if you're wrong. Yep, I'll go for D. Happy? Yes. OK. You had £2,000. You've now got £4,000. <laughs> Dwight D. Eisenhower, uh, called by all the American troops and the American people, Ike. You got £4,000. Um, if you go for the next one and get it wrong, you drop 3000 but you would go up to £8,000, W money up to eight if you got it right, but you've got no lifelines left. Have a look at this. It's worth £8,000 if you can give us the right answer. Here it comes. Who wrote The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner? Tennyson, Coleridge, Shelley or Keats? It's no. Worth £4,000? No. I'll take the money. Having a clue? Haven't got a clue. Haven't got the foggiest? No. Nope. There's no point in you even trying to guess if you don't know. No. Nope. And you're very happy to go away with £4,000. I am indeed. OK, give him a big hand. He goes away with £4,000. <laughs> Stay there a second. I can tell you, actually, I don't think it matters much to you, but I can tell you the right answer, actually, the rhyme of the ancient mariner, was actually written by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He goes away with £4,000. We'll do it all over again with one of our remaining nine contestants tonight in just a couple of minutes after the break on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good on.